Well, here we have the triangle proportionality theorem and its converse, all illustrated with one diagram. So, in the forward direction, we have this, saying that if I know that this TU is parallel to QS, then uh, red is to blue as red is to blue. Well, that's really nice. Conversely, I'm going to say I don't know it's parallel yet. If red is to blue as red is to blue, then this must be parallel to the side QS. Let's do some exercises. Well, we have a pair of triangles here. Let's solve for AB in each. I've put a single variable there, make it easier to write down. But in each case, I've got a segment that's parallel to a base cutting through the triangle. I've got one there. I've got one here. The well, triangle proportionality theorem says that's going to divide the triangle proportionally. That is the blue to the red as the blue to the red. So let's get to it. Or red to the blue. Z is to 3. Because 12 is to 4. Now we've, well, we've so many ways to solve that, but I'll let you figure out that's 9. So your missing side is 9. Let's look over here. I've got x is to 18. That's over here, as 14 is to 12. And again, we just solved that, and our missing side is 21. Well, let's try this in reverse. That is, let's apply the converse of the triangle proportionality theorem. And we've got three quick exercises here, five, six, seven. So just set them up like that. Now, again, cross multiply, do anything you want. But honestly, I think, I think the easiest thing to do here is you can do it in your head, you do it fast. You say, okay, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of, I've got 12, seven and a half, get rid of the decimal, that's 24 over 15. And anybody can see that, hey, I got a factor of three right there. So that means that what I've got is Oh yeah, 8 is to 5 is 8 is to 5, it checks out okay. So that means that we can do this, ta-da, because those two are parallel. Right, next one. Now, so 18 is to 10 as 24 is to 15. And these numbers are so tempting, we can just do all this division in our heads, but watch what happens. Divide the left by 2, divide the right by 3. 9 is to 5 is 8 is to 5. That is not a proportion. So this is not parallel to the base or the other side. All right, one more. So we're 1 for 2 right here. Let's go for 7. And again, we could do it a different way, but I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to pull down the calculator to show you different ways of doing it. And you could cross multiply, but you can also do this, 22.5 divided by 25. That's 9 tenths or 0.9. That's good. And I can see this coming already because I know that 18 divided by 20 is also 0.9 or 9 tenths. So this one checks out A-OK, -okay, and we've got parallel lines. So 2 out of 3 ain't bad. Well, all these parallel lines here, we have many options. We could set up red is to blue as red is to blue. How about red is to purple as red is to purple? Or how about blue is to purple as blue is to purple? Let's see which of these works out. I'm just going to go straight to cross multiplying. I, I know I've showed you other ways to do it, but we're going to make some time here. We'll just cross multiply. There you go. So you've got 45x. Well, you can read. And now we're going to subtract 36, 36x from both sides. x is 2. But watch what happens when we use this proportion, the red to purple. Well, wait a minute. 6x is a 2x. is 18 is to 6. If I divided all those terms out, I'd come up with 1 equals 1. Or how about this? Let's suppose I cross multiply. What do you get? 36x equals 36x. x can be anything. So this doesn't really help you. How about the blue method, or blue and purple? I'll cross multiply them, 
And I can see there, 12x plus 6 equals 15x. And subtract 12x. Well, it looks like x is going to be 2 again. So there's your solution. Here we go. We're going to prove the triangle proportionality theorem. Given these parallel lines, we're going to prove that QT is to TR as SU is to UR. Let's get to it. We've got our given down there. Now, postulate 15, well, corresponding angles postulate. I've got a pair of congruent angles because they are corresponding and they're cut by that transversal QR. Now, reflexive property tells me that R is congruent to itself. And right away, we're right there. We've got this triangle and this triangle, two similar triangles by angle angle. And one of the properties of similar triangles, ready for this? Oh yes, their very definition, their corresponding sides are proportional. Now their corresponding sides, remember, so I've got QR is to TR as SR is to UR. Because after all, it's this triangle and this triangle. Okay, so you got that. Now comes the interesting part. And it looks like this. We're going to use segment addition in reverse. Instead of saying QR, I'm going to define it as QT plus TR. Instead of SR, it's SU plus UR. Just segment addition. Now comes a part you may not remember. It almost seems a little hokey. We can uh, subtract the denominator. We did this before with proportions. Property is um, well, we could add the denominator to each numerator of the respective ratios. We can also subtract them. And I know some of you aren't going to like that. Or you say, well, let me see some algebra. And I'll demonstrate it in algebra, but this is legitimate right there. Let me move this out of the way. So you already know what the figure looks like. If you started here on, on line 6, here's your alternative. If you want to do it with algebra, just separate separate your fractions out like this. Okay, and I can see that each of these, I've got TR over TR, UR over UR, and that's going to simplify to one over one. And subtract one from both sides of the equation, same result. 